Hey guys, welcome back to another Witness Minecraft episode. Episode number 20, I think. Oh, 19. I think it's 19. And um, it's been two months since I've made the last episode. And I know, I promise you guys, I'll be back within a week. And look at this, it's been two weeks, sorry, two months and I have, haven't been back. I know, I know, most of you guys are pissed and you guys are angry. And I'm really sorry guys, I've been really busy with my life. Um, as you guys know, maybe you guys don't, don't know that uh, YouTube isn't my full-time job, so I still have to work on the other, uh, the actual paying jobs, uh, like any other person. So um, that means I don't really have much time to dedicate for this project. Actually, I've been fi I've finished one of my other projects, which leaves me a lot of time to work on this project. So that's why I'm back. And uh, hey, <laughs> welcome back. And um, all right, so um, where were we? So last time we worked on this bit over here, um, which sort of lead the bit that leads to the orchard. But and um, while I'm here, actually for the last two months, I hasn't totally been useless. <laughs> I actually spent a lot of time working on the Minecraft mod, and um, I think I got to a point. I think I'm gonna turn off the shader now. So I got to a point. I think I'm happy with how the Minecraft, the panel implementation works now. Um, so this is something I was promised. I uh, was promising to sh to give you guys in this episode, and uh, promises are kept because I already have it. All right. So this one here, um, that's the item frame itself. But uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna use this because I just gave this to myself using cheaty commands just to just to see if I uh, the actual mode works or not. Um, so I'm gonna craft that. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me for the crafting table. So see you guys at the base. Right. So the um, I want to introduce you guys to the witness puzzle frames. Now the way you get hold of the puzzle frames is that um, they don't naturally generate like any other block, obviously. But the way they actually generate within the world is that you need to actually craft them, and the the core ingredient that you need. To craft one of those this engine debris I know so this block over here that's this block is super OP uh, not OP it's super rare um, you can say um, you can't really find these really common throughout the world you have to spend like a bunch of hours in the nether just finding this um, and once you find one of these you all you have to do is just um, put them in the crafting table and you get this rare item called the engine puzzle tablet now this tablet essentially is um, what is it? It's just an item, really. It doesn't really do anything by itself. So you need to craft this into something else. And what you need to craft this into is a puzzle frame. And the way you puzzle uh, craft a puzzle frame out of this is just by like a typical square there, and you're left with five. Um, so you get this. Um, let's, let me actually create two of them. And you get what you call a puzzle panel. Now, if you look at the puzzle panel, I'm um, just gonna create two of them. Right now, by default, the puzzle panel is white and uh, three by three. And uh, you still, you need a, actually, you can't really display it by itself. Um, see how it's just a item there. Um, so you need an actual puzzle frame to display this on. And the way you craft the puzzle frame itself is just by collecting a bunch of iron. Uh, let me just grab one more, just in case. Um, and you just make an iron sort of iron um, ingots from this. For the puzzle frame itself, you need to surround the the engine debris with an actual a bunch of different uh, iron ingots, and you get the iron puzzle frame. And in order to, um, to craft the, the stand for it, you just do that, and you get the iron stand for it. And uh, yeah. yeah. All right, man. I worked on this mod for two months, so it's kind of exciting to finally have it here in this world. And um, let's see how it looks like. I'm just gonna put it down here, and just that's just the frame. And this is the uh, the frame. That's the frame and the frame stand. And this is how it looks like. Yeah. So uh, the iron puzzle frame is just one of the frames you, you can essentially um, frame your puzzle frame, I guess. That's too many frames in a sentence, but the idea is that you can put any sort of puzzle panel in it. In order to put a puzzle panel in it, just right click on it. And since I had two, it'll just put one of them. But if I had another one, I can just right click on it too. Um, 
the way you pick it back up is by shift clicking, right clicking on it. Uh, why can I? Wait, what? Why is it not giving me back? I guess that's a bug. Okay. Anyways, uh, I can't pick it up back. Oh man, what's going on? This hasn't happened before. Okay, I guess you can break the frame and it'll give you back your puzzle frame. I need to debug that, but I'll do that later. Um, so you can put it back. Uh, if you can, if you click on it, um, it'll put the frame in there. And if you have an empty hand and right click, click on it, it should give you back. I'm not sure why it's not giving me back my puzzle frame. All right. So uh, the next thing is that um, you guys already noticed that if you right click on it without shift clicking. You, what, what you end up is the puzzle solver mode and this is where you should be in the future be able to solve these puzzles right now i'm in the middle of still working that out so now you can click all, all around it will won't do anything but it will click, click on the actual puzzle frame itself right now it's just making the sound but in the future you should be able to draw the puzzle frames as well that would be super cool um that's not all I have to showcase. Actually, there's much more to this puzzle panel than it, than you actually see. Now, if you look at the data here, from if you have if you know how the data command works, um, and it's you can see that it actually have some puzzle data in it. Um, you can actually edit that puzzle data and make these panels look like anything you want, including those panels like there. So the way you modify or make the way you actually edit this puzzle data is using the puzzle composer. Now, I don't really have a puzzle composer, a recipe for the puzzle composer yet, but I do have a puzzle composer block. I'm really sorry guys, I can't find it. I can't remember where I put it. It's in one of these, oh, there you go. Okay, never mind. Uh, and here we go, the puzzle composer block. Um, so the way the puzzle composer works is that um, it's just like any other block. It has this design in it, I guess. Um, so if you put it just like that, it'll be facing the whatever the direction you're facing. You can sort of look at the um, the head there to realize which direction it's facing. Anyway, so it's this fence block where you can put on any your, your puzzle compo or puzzle panel itself, and then sort of design it. So the way this works is that um, you put in your puzzle panel like that, and it'll render the actual puzzle panel itself in this editor editor view over here. And here you can uh, remove lines. So if you click on it once, it'll uh, uh, split the line in the middle. And if you click on it once again, stop pushing me. Um, it'll it'll break and remove the line altogether. Now, uh, this is multiplayer friendly, so anyone else can also come in and you know design the puzzles together if you want to. That's the thing. And um, yeah, and you can um, yeah. I didn't actually finish all the tutorial, so you can click on. Uh, click on any shapes here and it'll remove the line. And if you click on the center of the line, that'll make an actual entry point for the puzzle. And uh, if you if you put in like a, if you click on the edge of the panel, um, it'll create what you call like the exit area, the exit, the exit and exit. Yeah, let's just call it exit, the end of the puzzle. And uh, and that's it. If you click on this panel here, it'll just craft it for you. And that panel, oh, stop pushing me! Um, it'll actually create a three by three puzzle panel. Um, so we put that in and there we go, you get the panel. That's what I was saying. So you can actually create uh, bigger panels like this. Um, it's not restricted to that size actually. Um, I need to get all of that panel again, damn it. Okay, um, so you can actually put your panel inside here and you can use this slider here to resize uh, how big it can be now i put in a cap now the biggest you can get here is 10 but it doesn't have to be 10 like, technically it can grow to infinity if i if i really wanted to make like so but i didn't make it so because um when, when the puzzle itself becomes really small it's really hard to click on that panel so that's why i kept it max to 10. the smallest it can get is i think two um yeah just one it's one by one um, it's not really interesting, is it? Um, if you, this panel is not really interesting, but um, so I'm just actually let me actually uh, recreate recreate that because I can just take a look at that. Let's make the the fourth uh, puzzle panel. I think uh, sorry, the third puzzle panel according to this guide, um, which is this one over here, um, that panel over here. So I'm gonna create that puzzle. So this is a four by four, uh, just like that, uh, and the start is up there. 
and I'm just gonna quickly make this panel uh, bada boom take that off okay all right um, and we can just delete this I uh, should I be should be able to make <laughs> recreate this for memory because I spent like a couple of hours making this on a map uh, as you guess so early in the season but um, I still don't remember them apparently I guess um, is that right okay and uh, you just don't remember that and exit was there um, okay uh, I think that's pretty pretty close okay uh, let's go with that and there we go I've created the first puzzle panel um, and I'm just gonna uh, actually since I have a poppy I want to showcase the other feature as well now they don't really have to be white um, as by default they're gonna be white and um, the way you sort of tie these puzzle panels let me put this in and see how it looks excellent it looks excellent um, so the way you sort of dye this is by um, using dyes um, you can actually dye this any color you want I actually want yellow okay just one would do um, so you, the way you sort of dye this is not by right clicking on the actual item frame but you can use the puzzle composer itself and the way you craft the puzzle panel or uh, color the puzzle panel is just by putting the dye in there and as you can see here and there uh, the actual output is yellow now and uh, that's it you can actually uh, dye it all so i have implemented all the dye colors i'll put in a screenshot of the actual mod itself later but um you can actually dye anything any color you want so um that's that's what it's there for an, another feature later down the road but that'll be the color for the line but i haven't implemented that yet and uh, you can put any color you wish and it'll um it'll look like that um so there's few there's a lot of bugs all right so this is my first mod and uh, obviously it's gonna have a lot of bugs uh, so um, you guys have, have to uh, bear with me anyways um, so you can put in your dye color this one I want it to be yellow and you just grab it and there you go you got a yellow panel and uh, what happened to my oh that's not the one I want to dye damn it no. you just chuck that in there and uh, just grab that in uh, it's not consuming the dye right now that's a bug I'm trying to fix that um, it's just uh, something I had to fix um, eventually it'll actually consume the dye as any other crafting pattern do and there we go and um, let me actually go to the uh, the puzzle panel area um, I'm just gonna keep this block here I think um, because there's only one block and I need to come up with a crafting recipe for this but do I have everything I need yeah I do okay let me get to the uh, the minecraft island hello we're back okay um so i no longer need this fake puzzle panel anymore i could just actually use the actual one let me put it right next to it so we know how to compare them and um and the frame there we go boop power it boop and you right click on it <laughs> nice uh, did i make any mistakes it looks, doesn't look like so um, as you guys can see this block is right now emitting light so it's like any other uh, light emitting block um, eventually they will also give out a red, redstone signal but I still have to work that out and um, small steps I guess um, yeah you can just finally get rid of this crap now um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this panel <laughs> I, uh, I spend a lot of time working on those maps and uh, it's kind of wasted now because you don't really need them anymore and uh, the good thing about these puzzle panels, well, good thing will be is that you can actually interact with them and solve them like that. Um, but that's gonna be in the future. Um, so in the past, I've made a different showcase video um, outside of the Witness Minecraft episode. Uh, I might actually combine those two t together uh, and showcase the mod features in the episode itself, like this this episode, for instance. So look forward for that. Anyways, uh, and yeah, so welcome back. Uh, oh man, I'm so happy. It's actually in the wrong spot. Let me actually move it one by one. Whoops. Um, okay. On that, the actual panel. And there we go. Let me put on the, uh, the shader as well, just for the show. Oh man, this took so long to do. You guys wouldn't believe I had to spend months learning how to mod. And um, yeah, 
I guess uh, it wasn't really in a way. I uh, got something done. Uh, welcome to my test world. Um, I think you guys have seen this world before. This is where I pretty much uh, try out everything in the um, everything in the mod. No. Um, so I just want to showcase the rest of the features here because turns out I broke half of them while I was exporting it to a server. And uh, yeah, so I see you guys. So you can actually color. Uh, let me show the show the colors first. Um, so you can actually color all. There's all the colors in Minecraft are here. Um, everything, including all the 16 colors. Um, so I'm gonna work, be working on um, providing colors for the lines themselves, and also the solution lines, which I'm gonna be working on next. And um, yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, the other feature I want to show, show showcase is that you can shift, and you should be able to in the next release, I guess. Uh, shift and right click on it to get um, fetch the frame of the panel, the puzzle panel from the frame, and then you right click on it back to put it back on. And um, yeah, and the edit itself um, would have it's gonna have two different slots like this, uh, to indicate where the lime color goes, and uh, you can edit your panels like that. Oh man, I've been working on this uh, on this site by myself uh, for the past few months. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So this all these puzzle panels, you can interact with them. Um, so you don't, you're not really limited to interact with one puzzle panel at a time. I made it. Uh, I will be making it so that you can interact with any of these panels here. Uh, the only downside to this implementation is that you have to be in within the the Minecraft reach distance to uh, enter the screen. So if you're slightly out, uh, you won't be able to reach there. Uh, which is not the same, which is not the case in Witness, um, because in Witness you can uh, essentially um, engage in the solver mode from anywhere you want. I can make it so, but I feel like it's gonna interfere with the existing Minecraft mechanics, so that's why I left that in. Um, so you can uh, in engage in this mode, and you don't, you're not limited to engaging with this. You can actually engage with all these ones if it's within the um, within the distance. Um, so here, for instance, you can engage with all three. Um, but the only thing is that the, each of the blocks has to be within range for that to happen. Um, yeah, all right, so I think that's what all I want to show. So there's all, all you can pretty much um, support any, you can draw out any design you wish, I guess. And um, I went on with, into Minecraft, uh, into Windows, and fetch all the different colors I can find from the panel, puzzle panels. So all these colors are actually coming from the game itself. Um, so that's why some of the colors might look different, even though like this is like a brown, but even though it's like a, a maroon color, I guess. Um, anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say here for now. Um, there's just a lot of thing, I guess not, not not a lot to show, but a lot of work went in to get this done and uh, making it multiplayer friendly. So let me get back to the actual server. Oh yeah, I still have this with me. Um, what do I want to do with this actually? I don't know. Maybe I should have a... Oh man, these are good memories. These are the puzzle panels that I'm ever gonna end up using. So I guess I can just show them anywhere. Uh, where do I wanna keep this? I guess I, I can just put them here for now. Uh, as a, a sweet piece of memorabilia, I guess. Um, okay, I can just put it in here. Um, to, a, to a history, I guess. History will remember. <laughs> Yes, um, those panels are not going to be used anymore. Alright guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave off this episode. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to be exploring to build the mountain over here. I guess it's not really exploring. <laughs> I'm just going to be surveying, that's the word I'm looking for, to build the mountain over here. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Witness Minecraft. Thanks for watching.